Roland used these, and uh, Yamaha used these cartridges to store patches, sounds, etc. on synths in the early to mid 80s. Korg, however, they used this is the MEX 8000 memory expander and Korg used this throughout their uh, fleet of synths from around 1983 to 1986. Let's check it out. If we check out this brochure from 1986 and check out what Korg had in terms of synths at the time, you can see that um, none of them had any cartridge ports. Korg didn't go for the cartridge route in terms of storage. Uh, in the brochure you can see the back of every Korg synth at the time and none of them had cartridge ports. But when we come to um, page 10 here we can see that's a new uh, item for 1986, the MEX 8000 memory expander. And the synths this would work for were the DW6000 and 8000 as well as the EX8000, the vocoder DVP1, and the Poly 800 and EX 800. And it also stores uh, patches as well as sequences for those of the synths that had sequencing capabilities. So the MIDI in out from the synth goes into the MIDI in out data dump on the MEX 8000. And at the back of the MEX 8000, you have dip switches that uh, determines what type of a synth device you're using, MIDI channel, and if the protection of each bank is on or off. And at the back of the MEX8000 you can see the position of each dip switch, what they'll do, etc, etc. Protection, MIDI channel and device. So first I decide what bank I want to use to store the patches from this synth now. B, C, D, and A. And uh, be aware that on the um, Korg DW8000, the um, note data enable has to be in the value of two to make this work. And all I have to do now is uh, press save and it will save the bank A from that synth. And if I do it right, it will um, show good here on the display and pay attention to the display here on the DW8000 as it's transferring the bank over to the MEX8000. Good. So, bank from here into bank A of the MEX8000. So if you want to transfer a bank from the MEX8000 back to the synth, in this case the DW8000, the procedure is just as easy as saving. You just uh, pick out the bank you want to send to the synth and make sure that the synth is in the right enabled so you can transfer banks to the synth. And all you have to do now is uh, press load and the bank will be transferred to the DW8000 and it will blink good here when it's done. Let's check it out. And voila. It's done. The procedure of saving and loading is the same regardless of the synth you choose to use. If you use a synth that has a sequencer with built-in sequences, those will be stored as well as the patches on the MEX8000 in the bank you choose. It's the MEX8000 that initiates the handshake when you choose to save. By pressing the save button, the synth is required to dump its patches through MIDI, SSX, over to the MEX8000. For more info and my thoughts on the MEX8000, check out the video description. Why Korg never went the way of cartridge storage for the synths and drum machines from the early 80s to the mid 80s, I have no idea. If you do know, please say so in the comment section and I'd love to know your opinion on this. Was this the smartest move by Korg at the time? Did it matter at all? Well, I don't know. Thanks for watching, I'm Espencroft, I'll see you next time, cheers.